that is specifically used with the iPad. You can turn your iPad into a personal interactive whiteboard. Show Me allows you to record voiceover whiteboard tutorials and share them online. It's amazingly simple and can be used by teachers and students. It's that simple. One more important thing to note is that Show Me, the application for the iPad, is free to download in your application section through iTunes. In the next segment, Wesley Fryer has created a tutorial that gives you the basics on how to use this application. Once again, you'll, vi you'll find it very simple and easy to use. Hi, this is Wes Fryer with iPadWithWes.com. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use the free iPad application Show Me to create a narrated slideshow. In this example, we're going to be using a website as basically a photo shelf, if you want to think of it that way, where students are going to be getting images. And the first step in this process would be to go ahead and use your Safari web browser, go to that web page, and load it up. To make it easy for your students to navigate to this website, you can click on the share arrow that you'll find at the top of the Safari browser, and then you're going to click this link, which is the Add to Home Screen button. And that's going to actually create a button that'll look like an app on your iPad, and students will be able to click on that to get back to this page of photos. This website was created using the free Picasa Web Albums uh, website. After you click Add to Home, you'll want to enter a name that you're going to be using, and then you'll click the blue Add button, and that's what will actually put this on your iPad home screen. Next, I would recommend that you navigate to the large version of each photo that you're going to want to include in your slideshow. You're going to click or touch on the image and hold your finger down on the image you're going to see the pop-up screen come and select Save Image. And this is going to actually save that picture to your iPad's photo roll. The photo roll is one of the only areas in the iPad that can be used by multiple applications. So after saving images from Safari to the photo roll, those images can be used by other applications like Show Me or other applications that use images. To just verify that you have all your images, you can, after you've saved your pictures, go to your photo roll and you're going to look for the images that you're going to use. In this case, there are five different images that I've saved that I'm going to use in the slideshow. Now you are ready to open the Show Me app and select a new Show Me, either by clicking on the button in the upper left corner, the blue button that says New Show Me, or by just clicking the plus below Show Me projects that may have been created previously on your iPad or that you made. Now you're ready to insert an image and you're going to do that by clicking on the insert image button at the top. Next select the middle choice choose photo and that's how you're going to select a photo that is already in your photo roll. Now unlike some other applications like explain everything the Show Me application does not allow you to preload all of your photos at once. You're going to be doing these one at a time. 
Next, you're going to click on Camera Roll unless your images happen to be in a different album. And this is going to allow you to select the image that you want to load. Once it's loaded, you're going to use two fingers to pinch and stretch the image to make it the size you want, and then you'll click Done. Now you're ready to start recording, and in the upper right corner, you'll go ahead and click on the Record button, and you'll record all the audio narration you want for that particular image. Next, you're going to click the Pause button, and this is going to be repeated over and over again, basically, as you do your recording. Now it's time to clear the screen, so if you click at the top on the icon that looks like an eraser that has been used a little bit on a black screen, you're going to click that and then click OK to entirely clear your whiteboard. Now you're going to repeat the process, again clicking on insert image, choosing your photo, and doing your recording for that image. When you're completely finished with all your recording, you're going to click on the stop button that looks like a gray square in the upper right corner. You're going to click Yes, I'm Done to confirm that all your recording is finished. Now it's time to give a name or a title to your Show Me and to click the Save button. If you had made a mistake and you wanted to completely start over, that's also an option on this screen. I would recommend reviewing your slideshow and playing the whole thing to make sure it sounds like you want it to, and then you can click on the Cloud button here at the bottom to publish it. You'll need to log in with your account that you create on the Show Me site, and I recommend in most cases that you go ahead and select the world to be publishing your Show Me so that anyone is going to be able to see it. You have an opportunity to add a description, and if you're doing this with students, this is a good place for them to put their first name and perhaps their hour or their teacher if they're working in another class. You can also optionally add some topics down here so that other people could find your Show Me if they're interested in a similar project topic. Lastly, you're going to click on the Finish button when you're all finished, and now it is going to go ahead and compress it and upload it to the Show Me website. The ShowMe.com website does permit an unlimited number of these to be produced and published, and um, there's no limit that I know of for the length or the number that you can produce and share. After it's finished, you'll see a screen like this, and you might consider sharing it via email. That's particularly good if you have a website like a Postra site configured for your class, and you, your students or you can email these projects to that website and then have that link provided on your blog website. Once the video is converted and uploaded, it's actually going to convert to a web format on the website. And finally, when it's done, it will be playable both on your iPad if you visit it in the Safari browser or if you go ahead and visit it in a normal web browser on a different computer. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I wish you luck. Keep in mind that lots of different folks are publishing content to the showme.com website, and so you can't, of course, take responsibility or you know, be, to, be credited or to blame for the content that's found there. Each account does have its own website, and uh, in the case of uh, my account, I think, my website is actually showme dot com and then it's coach fryer all as one word but you are going to select your own username and have that channel site but you do have the opportunity after you publish these to go ahead and use embed code and that's probably the best idea as you're publishing these for a school audience is to embed them on your own website where you'll be able to moderate comments and have a little bit more control over the interaction which takes place about this so good luck and have fun creating narrated slideshows